not personally, but it also has an ROI for your business, and that's what's been important for Stephen. And I'm gonna let him talk more about that. But I wanna tell you that um, over these past couple of years, there hasn't been a thing that we've asked or thought about that he didn't respond and offer to help out. And I could just give you one instance. We just took uh, possession of a new warehouse and Stephen had helped us to find this space. It took us about a year and a half. It's close to 24,000 square feet, it's in the hot hog. It's gonna help us to move about two million pounds more a year as soon as we get up and running. And so while we were there, one day we were looking around, we were getting carpeting by Les Hall who donated all of the flooring for this space. And let me tell you, it's 4,000 square feet of space, and he didn't even hesitate when we asked. So we knew the flooring was coming in on Monday, and Stephen and I were standing in this space on Friday, and I said to him, I don't know, we had hoped to get the place painted before we got the flooring in, but we couldn't reschedule because Les is so um, generous to be helping us. The only time he could schedule was for Monday. So Stephen said, piece of cake piece of cake. He said, I'll come in tomorrow, I'll bring a crew with me, and we'll get it done in a day, no problem. Uh, so Saturday morning, I stopped in just to check on Stephen and his crew. This was his crew. <laughs> this was the crew. And so uh, he started real early in the morning and didn't stop until late into the evening, came back on Sunday, spent the whole day painting. The place looks gorgeous, and it's just a piece of the kind of thing that he does for us. So it's a piece of understanding the kind of person that Stephen is. So I appreciate that, and I thank his family for loaning him to us continuously. Thank you very much, it's been a pleasure. So Stephen. On behalf of 300,000 people, I want to say thanks. We also have um, a certificate of a scroll of honor of all of the support that we've gotten from this event so that you can have it in your office and hang it proudly. Would you like to say a few words? Sure. Um, thank you very much, Randy. Uh, in addition to stealing half my thunder. <laughs> um, I just wrote down a few words. Uh, I guess Randy already told you how we reconnected. I was uh, visiting my mom. Uh, one afternoon, and she happened to be driving by with her son Stephen, if you know him. And we wound up just shooting the breeze for a little while, understanding, you know, catching up a little bit, what she's been up to, what I've been up to. And then I got very intrigued. And I said, Listen, why don't you come down to the office? Uh, we'll sit down, we'll see if I can help out. So her and McDowell, if you know her, came in, uh, saw the office, and an hour and a half later, I was committing to things that I didn't think I, I didn't even know about. Uh, Medallia actually has a very good way of doing that. Um, you know, over the next several months, uh, I was very educated about the hunger problem on, problem on Long Island. I mean, it's right in my backyard. I grew up here. And to learn that 250,000 families are accessing food banks in some sort every year is just unbelievable. And in addition to that, the number of children that are going to bed hungry is just staggering. And that was a Big surprise for me. Never knew it, it's right in your backyard, and it's people that you wouldn't think are going hungry. Now, many of you are involved in Long Island Harvest now, obviously, you're here, and some of you aren't, some of you are guests. I would very much invite you to get involved and get engaged. Uh, and what this has done for me, you know, I brought giving back uh, into the workplace with Long Island Harvest, and if you look in the corner over there, my entire team wanted to be here tonight. Um, when I brought it into the workplace, I already had a fantastic team. But what happened, and I didn't know it, Randy had given me a couple stories about it, that when you bring it in, 
people step up to the plate. I had people just coming right up to me and saying, how can I volunteer? Can I deliver some food? Is the warehouse done yet so I can go over there and give some time and effort? In addition to that, you know, Randy and my job, after speaking at the First Morning on Hunger Summit, my was, uh, job was to convey to the business community that there is an ROI, your return on investment. And the return on investment I've already seen through my team is the camaraderie. They watch each other's backs like they never have before. They watch my back like they never have before. And the productivity and just, you know, we, I'm at a crossroads in my life, both per personally and professionally, uh, on a good note. And, you know, uh, for those who know me, uh, it's been a very tough year, two years for everybody. And I've had some very unique challenges uh, over the last two years that I'm coming out of. So, with that said, excuse me, you know, I think we are all on a journey to get balance in one's life, and that balance is different for everyone. Uh, I'm not sure if, you know, you ever get there 100%. But after getting engaged and, and joining Long Island Harvest and what I can do, I've taken a few giant steps forward in getting there. Now, this day, the golf outing day, has a very personal meaning for me. If I get a little emotional, sorry. When Randy called me a few months ago uh, to be this year's honoree, it was a Friday afternoon. And we were talking about the warehouse, we were talking about the phone system and probably a few other things. Then she had a big pause, and she says, I have to ask you a question. And she said, I'd really love for you to be this year's honorary at the golf out. And then I paused. And, you know, we went back and forth for a little while. I was very hesitant, and it was a kind of a weird, uncomfortable conversation for a little bit. And I said, let me take the weekend to think about it. And I did. And... Again... This event, and please, I'm just saying it because it's a positive. This year's anniversary, this year is the anniversary of my mom passing away, exactly to the day. So, you know, if, for those who know my mom, she had a hand in this. <laughs> she's, she's here with us enjoying it, and it's just, when I spoke to Randy again on Monday, she was just like completely forgot. Uh, we sponsored this event last year, obviously we didn't show up. But uh, she's here with us celebrating this. I really would invite everyone to give more and to get more involved. All I can say is please enjoy the rest of the evening and thank you so much for this honor. Thank you. Stephen, any